The Eocene epoch is recognized as a critical era in the geological history of Earth. Lasting approximately 22 million years, from about 56 to 33.9 million years ago, the Eocene experienced remarkable climatic variations, geological developments, and most notably, the rise and diversification of numerous mammalian and avian species, establishing the groundwork for today's ecosystems. The term, Eocene, is derived from Ancient Greek, meaning, dawn, and new, symbolizing its role as the beginning of modern life. To appreciate the Eocene's significance, it is crucial to place it within the larger context of Earth's geological and evolutionary timeline. This epoch followed the Paleocene and preceded the Oligocene, representing the middle segment of the Paleogene period within the Cenozoic era. The planet experienced warmth during this period, with ice-free polar regions and tropical rainforests reaching up to higher latitudes. The global average temperature at the start of the Eocene was around 27 degrees Celsius, notably warmer than current temperatures. These favorable conditions facilitated a vast variety of life, both aquatic and terrestrial. Thus, the Eocene is a vital milestone in life's history, laying the evolutionary foundation for mammals, birds, and flowering plants, which currently dominate Earth. This video posits that the Eocene epoch was an essential phase of environmental transformation, biodiversity expansion, and evolutionary advancement that shaped the trajectory of life on our planet. By exploring climatic events, geological changes, and the rise of modern mammalian and avian species, this presentation illustrates that the Eocene was not simply a transitional phase but a pivotal foundation that led to our contemporary world. The Eocene epoch began with one of the most substantial and rapid warming events in Earth's history, the Paleocene-Eocene Thermal Maximum PETM. This event was characterized by a swift and dramatic rise in global temperatures, potentially driven by an enormous carbon release into the atmosphere, evidenced by a notable reduction in carbon-13 isotope levels. Atmospheric carbon dioxide concentrations surged to over 1,000 parts per million (ppm), triggering a greenhouse effect that resulted in the complete melting of polar ice caps while tropical conditions prevailed even at higher latitudes. For instance, fossil records indicate that palm trees flourished in present-day Alaska, and crocodilians were found near the Arctic Circle. This unprecedented warmth profoundly affected precipitation patterns, sea levels, and ocean chemistry. Ocean temperatures increased, leading to widespread anoxia in deeper marine areas. Terrestrial environments faced heightened erosion and weathering, as expansive rainforests invaded previously dry or temperate areas, transforming them into lush tropical ecosystems. Such high temperatures also supported the evolution and dispersion of thermophilic species, including early primates and hoofed mammals. However, the climate of the Eocene was not uniform. Over its lengthy 22 million year span, it underwent a gradual cooling trend that ultimately transitioned into the cooler Oligocene epoch. This sustained cooling resulted from tectonic movements that modified ocean circulation patterns, such as the division of Antarctica from both South America and Australia, which initiated the Antarctic Circumpolar Current. The gradual formation of Antarctic ice sheets began in the late Eocene, marking the conclusion of the hothouse Earth phase and the onset of a more variable climate system. A key aspect of the Eocene was the remarkable diversification of life forms, especially mammals and birds. 
Following the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event that eradicated non avian dinosaurs, mammals started to exploit various ecological niches. During the Eocene, this diversification accelerated significantly, leading to the appearance of the majority of modern mammalian orders. Parasodactyls, odd toed ungulates like horses and rhinos, and artiodactyls, even toed ungulates like deer and camels, began to thrive. Early true horses like Eohippus emerged in the early Eocene, displaying multiple toes and small, forest adapted physiques. Primates also experienced significant evolutionary shifts, with early prosimians and anthropoids appearing in both Africa and Asia. These precursors to monkeys, apes, and ultimately humans developed traits such as forward-facing eyes and improved manual dexterity. By the early Eocene, flying mammals like bats evolved as indicated by well-preserved fossils from locations such as the Green River Formation in North America. Cetaceans, ancestors of contemporary whales and dolphins, began their significant transformation from land to ocean environments during this epoch, with initial forms like Pachycetus and Ambulocetus exhibiting intermediate traits. These evolutionary adaptations highlight the capability of mammals to thrive across a spectrum of habitats and ecological functions. Birds also underwent considerable diversification. The fossil record of the Eocene includes early representatives of many modern species, such as owls, falcons, and aquatic birds. Some species reached remarkable sizes, like the flightless gasterny, a giant bird possessing a formidable beak, likely suited for crushing plants or prey. The evolution of flora during this time was equally dynamic. Angiosperms, flowering plants, rapidly diversified and formed complex ecosystems that provided sustenance for herbivorous mammals and pollinators. Dense forests dominated many regions, particularly the equatorial and mid-latitudes. These forests played a vital role in carbon sequestration, but their impact was ultimately overshadowed by greenhouse gas emissions from natural sources like volcanic activity and methane hydrates. A crucial aspect of the Eocene epoch involved transforming marine ecosystems and significant tectonic shifts that altered the continents and ocean basins. The Eocene oceans were rich in life, and substantial changes in sea chemistry and temperature fostered the evolution of diverse marine organisms. This period saw the appearance and diversification of modern plankton, mollusks, fish, and early marine mammals. A notable evolutionary highlight was the emergence of early archaeocete whales. These ancestral cetaceans evolved from terrestrial artiodactyls, illustrating macroevolution in action. Fossils of genera such as Pachycetus, Ambulocetus, and later Basilosaurus document the shift from land-dwelling quadrupeds to fully aquatic beings characterized by elongated bodies, reduced limbs, and tail flukes. These animals occupied niches left vacant following the Cretaceous extinction and adeptly adapted to marine living. Sharks also branched out during this epoch. Large predatory species such as Atodus obliquus, a precursor to the later Megalodon, thrived in warm Eocene seas. Coral reefs began to recover and expand after the Cretaceous extinction, becoming biodiversity hotspots that attracted a variety of invertebrates and small fish. Concurrently, mollusks such as gastropods and bivalves flourished, contributing to the establishment of modern marine food webs. During the Eocene, tectonic activity reshaped Earth's continents and oceans profoundly. 
The Indian subcontinent collided with the southern edge of Asia around 50 million years ago, leading to the uplifting of the Himalayas. This collision intensified monsoonal systems and produced long-lasting climatic effects that persist today. In the southern hemisphere, the separation of Australia from Antarctica began decisively, altering ocean currents and triggering a gradual cooling trend that led to Antarctic glaciation. The North Atlantic continued its opening as Greenland drifted away from Europe, contributing to the formation of the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation, a crucial driver of modern ocean currents. These tectonic developments influenced not only evolving climate patterns but also sea level changes, habitat distributions, and migration routes, which all informed the evolutionary progress of life. Although the narrative of the Eocene as a time of warmth and biodiversity expansion is well supported, certain aspects remain contentious within the scientific community. Ongoing debates revolve around global climate models and their reconstructions from proxy data, such as isotope ratios and fossil assemblages. Some researchers argue that current temperature reconstructions might exaggerate warmth, particularly in higher latitude regions, because of potential biases in the fossil record or limitations in paleobotanical indicators. Furthermore, fossil preservation varies significantly by region and environment, leading to gaps in our global understanding. For instance, much of our knowledge of early Eocene mammals is derived from North America and Eurasia, while records from Africa and South America remain limited. This uneven distribution may distort our view of evolutionary timelines and geographic dispersals. Species could have existed long before their earliest fossils appear, and extinction dates may not accurately reflect their actual disappearance. Additionally, the cause and magnitude of the Eocene-Oligocene extinction event, referred to as the Grande Coupure, generates significant debate. Although substantial faunal turnover, particularly in Europe, is evident, some scholars question whether the event was genuinely global or more regionally confined. Competing hypotheses encompass belied impacts, volcanic activity, and climate-induced habitat loss. Addressing these discussions will necessitate ongoing discoveries, improved dating methods, and more advanced modeling capabilities. Despite these uncertainties, the agreement remains that the Eocene represents a uniquely vibrant epoch in Earth's history. Its intricate interplay of biological and geological elements influenced many systems and lineages that characterize the modern world. The Eocene epoch is a significant interval in the geological and biological history of our planet. As demonstrated in this video, it was a phase of exceptional climatic warmth, dynamic tectonic movements, and remarkable evolutionary advancements. From the tropical environments of the early Eocene to the gradual cooling leading into the Oligocene, this epoch saw critical transformations in landscapes and lifeforms alike. The emergence of modern mammal orders, including horses, primates, whales, and bats, along with the diversification of birds and flowering plants, highlights the substantial evolutionary progress of this period. The oceans also witnessed the rise of essential lineages such as early whales and massive sharks, forming marine ecosystems that set the stage for today's biodiversity. Tectonic shifts, including continental collisions and ocean current alterations, directly impacted both global climate patterns and biogeographic distributions. 
While some aspects of the Eocene continue to prompt scholarly debate, particularly concerning climate models and extinction extent, the prevailing evidence emphasizes its crucial role as the dawn of modern life. Without the evolutionary groundwork established during the Eocene, the ecological and biological richness of our world today would be unimaginable. In recognizing the significance of the Eocene, we are reminded of the intricate connections between climate, geology, and biology. A lesson that holds particular relevance in our current era, the Anthropocene, as we face challenges like biodiversity loss and climate change. By examining the distant past, we arm ourselves with insights to better understand the present and potentially safeguard our future. If you found this video informative and wish to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to our channel. Subscribing ensures you'll receive notifications for our new uploads. Thank you for watching, and I eagerly anticipate your presence in our next video.